Okay, so we can't have Nate ask Amy if she's single anymore. So we still need something to go there, like a funny gag or funny joke. Yeah, we need some a, description. We need a funny gag for this. I know. Yep. Okay. What if? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nate says to Amy, "Would you like to sit on my face?" Would Whenever we run into a plot hole or a problem with the script, Guy always suggests the same thing. He suggests one of the characters says, Would you like to sit on my face? It's never appropriate. It never works. But it's his solution to everything. Would you like to sit on my face? It's, it's completely unrealistic. Nate would never say that. It's, it's out of character. If Nate said that to Amy... Amy would slap him. She'd slap him, and she would call the police. It's, 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 nobody would ever say that. Ever. Um, not true. I said that once. You said that. Who did you say? To a man or a woman? Well, what? To a woman, obviously. Hello? Alice! It's Harley and Guy. How the hell are you? Oh, Harley and Guy again. Yeah, I'm good still. Yeah. Um, same as I was the last four times you called. What's going on? Oh, I heard you finish your rewrites, actually. That's good news. Yep. Uh, on time and on schedule. That's us. Well, we're actually having a few celebratory drinks up here. We were thinking you might want to rock on up and, uh, you know, celebrate with us. Oh, you know what? I'd love you guys. I, um, I really would, but uh, I've got this this other thing going on that I've got, so yeah, I'm oh. going to have to pass. Oh yeah? Uh, what, what thing is that? Just, you know, <clears throat> a private thing, really busy, won't, won't have any time. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay, uh, seeing as we've got you here, we were wondering if, um, you could settle a little bit for us. Yeah, sure, what is it? Okay. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to just give me your first reaction. Just whatever comes into your head, then that's what I want to hear. All right, then shoot. Okay. Would you like to sit on my face? Fuck you. I told you. That's art imitating life right there. It's life imitating art. Yeah, that too. <sighs> Shit. Shit. Oh, now this. Waste of paper. Junk. And lamest ending to a scene that I've ever seen. He's an ideas man, Trevor. Um, just throws ideas at you. Like a monkey throwing shit at the zoo. And sometimes you laugh and encourage it. And other times you walk away wondering how you're going to get the shit out of your hair. Smile and nod. Every time Trevor comes up with a crazy idea, just smile and nod. Right then, let's just uh, bandy about a few ideas. Now, your character, Nigel. Um, Nate. Nate. Yeah, I think, I think Nate. Yeah. Right. Well, he's bald, right? Yeah. Well, what about if he was, say, a white supremacist neo-Nazi racist? Uh, you know, then he could just say lots of random racist stuff throughout every show. You know, like, go to the dairy, random racist comment, awkward silence, laughter. Nate's already, he, he's not a very likeable character as it is. So if we make him a racist, then uh, what reason will the audience have to want to watch him? Ah, but here's the twist, you see. He's not only a racist, he's also battling cancer. And it's the chemotherapy that's making him bald. Well, not the racism. I, I don't, I'm not sure I see where you're going with this one, Mr. No. I don't know. Yeah, but that's the genius of it, right? The audience hate him because he's a racist. They also empathise with him as he battles against this terrible disease. They'll love him because he's the cancer-stricken racist. 
with the heart of gold. Guys, this is good stuff. I hope you're taking it down. Was there a misunderstanding at the end of our meeting with Trevor? Possibly. Good. Well, um, that's about all I've got, except I just want to say that I love the cock jokes. Really? Definitely. I think you need more cock. More cock jokes in your show. We, we can extend the cock. We can put cock all over it. Good. I'd like to see you really push that cock at the audience. Well, that's great, because sometimes all that comes out of my mouth is cock. Good. Good. I want you to keep the cock jokes coming, okay? Next time guys hunched over the script, I'm going to walk up, I'm going to reach around, and I'm going to put the cock in. Good. Good. Well, it's, it's finally good to see we're on the same page about something. I think, uh... I think I might not have to fire you guys this week after all, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Firing, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, hey, now listen, while we're still talking about cock, I was wondering uh, which one of you guys is going to suck mine? Good one, good. Oh, uh, you had me laughing. Oh, he's you good. had me laughing. He's good, he's good, isn't he? Seriously, guys, I haven't got all day. Which one of yours is going to choke it down? Especially your yeah. face, eh? Because, <laughs> oh, 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 I was joking. No, I was joking. No, you thought I was serious. As if I get you to suck my cock. With the camera on. I look like an idiot. No, we were just, we all were joking. It was a so big... I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> Would Guy have gone through with it? Good question. The answer? Yes, without a shadow of a doubt, yes he would have. <laughs>